Good morning, everyone. There's a South African Jew named Kivi Bernhardt. He's Shabbat observant and he's also a sought after speaker. And a number of years ago, he received an invitation from Microsoft to deliver the um, keynote address at an international Microsoft conference. And for Kivi at the time, it was really a big opportunity, a big deal. But when he looked at his calendar, he realized that the conference was taking place on a Saturday, so he politely declined. He then gets a phone call from a senior vice president at Microsoft. Kivi, we really want you to do this. We'll offer you double your regular rate, triple your regular rate. We'll send you a blank check and you can fill it out whatever you want. Kivi refuses and he politely explains it's not the money. I'm Shabbat observant and I don't work on Shabbat. The guy slams down the phone. In the end, Microsoft really wanted Kivi to do the address and they rescheduled the conference to a Sunday to accommodate Kivi. A couple of months later, he gets a phone call from the same senior vice president. His name was John. Kivi, I want to tell you a story. I was on a private jet with Bill Gates and some other top executives. And I was telling them the story of how we wanted to hire you. And no matter how much money we threw you away, you refused to do the lecture on Saturday because you're Shabbat observed. And Mr. Gates responded, that's what happens when you have something that even money cannot buy. Shabbat is a priceless treasure. When we stop working, when we close the world around us, we turn off our computers and our phones and so on, we are granted the opportunity to nurture those things that are truly priceless in life. Our connection with our family, our connection with God and our soul, and our connection with our communities. This global slowdown, in a sense, is like a Shabbat. Many of us are forced to stay home or stay spending more time at home. Our kids are at home. And I think this, while it's tragic on the one hand and it's a big challenge, it's also an opportunity for each one of us to nurture those things that are priceless in our lives. Have a wonderful day.